In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to turn any image into the GTA style with Midjourney. So it's very simple. I'm going to teach you two ways. One's free, one's paid. So first of all, the free version. You want to go to Google, type in GTA in Google, and find an image that you like. So I like this image. I think the style of it's cool. It's all good. Now, what you want to do is you want to right click and save as. So you've saved the image. Now, come into Mid Journey and you want to do slash describe. Click here and it's going to ask you to upload the image. I'm going to upload this image here. Uh, it's actually a different image, but it's pretty similar. Now, you want to hit enter. Once you hit enter, what it's going to do is it's going to bring up a window that looks like this. This window is going to give you four different descriptions of this image. So you want to click the one that best matches it. In this example, I clicked number one. Now, once you do that, what it's going to do is going to use that to generate you some images using that prompt. So from the prompt that it created, it created me these images. And these are pretty cool, I have to say. I really like these. So now what you want to do, you want to turn yourself into one of these images. You want to put yourself in this scene. What you want to do is you want to go into, you want to add an image of yourself. Let's say this is you. It's better to add an image that has a transparent background rather than a white one, as I found out earlier. And I'll, t I'll show you why in a minute. So now, I'm going to go and grab the prompt we got earlier. Um, you can change the aspect ratio if you want. This AR thing is the aspect ratio, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Now I'm going to do slash imagine. Click your image, right click, copy link, paste the link in there. Put a comma after it, and now I'm going to have to grab the prompt uh, here and paste this afterwards, and then click enter. Now, what you can do with this is if you wanted to change some of the stuff in it, then you can do that. So, if you wanted it to be just him with no one else, you could remove where it says men and just put man or something like that. But this is going to now generate this person. It's going to put this person in an image like this. Okay, so here's what it generated for me. It created these four different images. Now, they aren't amazing. They're okay. This first one is, is the best, I'd say. These ones are okay. The styles are good. It's just it's kind of lacking on the background. So I press regenerate here, and it's pretty much done the exact same thing. But oh well. So now another option you can do, which got me this, is you can do slash blend. So I did slash blend, and I uploaded the two images. So I did this one. And I did this one. Now, I think if, if I was to put this one first, it would get better results. But you do slash blend, put those two in, hit enter. And what that's going to do is it's going to blend the two images together. Now, while this wait, while we wait for this, I'm going to show you the paid method. So the paid method, you want to go online, you want to go to a website called prompt base. Now, at the top, I'm going to type in GTA. Now, I want to go to mid journey and here. Here are tons of different prompts which are going to get you these GTA styles. So let's say that we like this one here or this one here. This is pretty cool. Let's say we like this one here. This is a this is this is very cool, and you can see that they've put all these different characters in it. So this prompt is going to cost three ninety nine, and once you buy it, they're going to give you the prompt to create stuff like this. So. What you could then do is you could take the image that we want to transform and put put this prompt with it and it's going to turn your image into one of these scenes. And this will have a lot of customization options. So they will teach you how to add explosions, how to add cars, how to add guns, all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be highly customizable and you're going to get better results every single time. But as I say, you do have to pay for this. Now, if we go back to what we just created, you can see that the images are okay, but they're just not as good as these. So that's how you do it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, 